Hello, I'm Howard, and welcome to Spiritual Shorts. Today we continue our multi-week look at the fascinating story of Jacob, a story that in the symbolic language of the Bible symbolizes the spiritual journey of an individual seeking inner transformation and growth towards a higher spiritual state. We pick up the story just after Jacob has separated from Laban. Jacob's headed home, but going home means facing Esau, his past, his mistakes, and the possible violent confrontation. So let's get into it. Jacob hasn't seen Esau in 20 years. He doesn't know if Esau will welcome him or seek revenge. To feel things out, Jacob sends some messengers ahead and the news isn't good. Esau is coming to meet him with 400 men. Imagine Jacob's fear. He's trying to do the right thing, but now everything he cares about feels under threat. This is where many of us find ourselves. We try to make changes to do better, but suddenly old issues, our Esau, come charging back into our lives, and it feels like we might lose everything. What do we do in these moments? This is where spiritual growth happens, if we are willing to let the Lord work in us. In Jacob's fear, we see the beginning of spiritual crises, what the Bible calls temptations. These are moments when the things we care about are under attack. It could be our relationships, our self-worth, or our efforts to be a good person. It feels like all our hard work is just unraveling. But these moments are actually signs of progress. Jacob sends gifts to Esau and divides his camp. Essentially, he's rethinking his approach. He also turns to God humbling himself in prayer. These actions symbolize what we can do when faced with spiritual crisis. We can rethink, we can seek divine help, and we can open ourselves to let go of what we thought we needed to survive. But here's the thing. Even after Jacob sends his gifts and prays, the crisis doesn't magically disappear. Instead, Jacob spends the night wrestling with a mysterious figure. This struggle represents what happens when we face temptations. We wrestle with our inner conflict. Just like Jacob, we are in pain. We're exhausted. But we can hold on. Imagine a married couple arguing over money, both wanting to be right but needing to find a way forward. Or think of two business partners arguing over the direction of the business. One wants to grow the business and the other is, well, he's afraid that they will overstretch. Both feel that they're right, but need to find a way to move forward. The wrestling never ends overnight, but there is hope on the horizon. Jacob doesn't give up, and in the end, he's given a new name, Israel. This symbolizes the spiritual tra transformation that happens after we struggle and are victorious in temptations. We emerge with a new quality, more humble, more loving, and more open to change. The story teaches us that we can become Israel. We can become people who struggled through spiritual crises, but now let love take the lead in our lives. When we stop trying to be right and focus on doing right, we experience the blessings of real lasting change. So what crisis are you facing today? Remember, it's not a setback, it's a step forward. If you hold on, you'll find that God is guiding you to a new and better version of yourself. Embrace the struggle and cooperate with the Lord in his effort to make you into the person he intends you to be. Thank you uh, for joining me for this episode of Spiritual Shorts. 
If this message resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you and keep you.